What's going on, folks? DKN Pet 1.16 finally concluding my campaign. KCS post loot this time. Finally got through all this here, all that. Let's get this started onward. Kevin Cooper's story continues onward. Watch the post. Sometime after the battle on Arthur II's capital, Kevin Cooper is called to Bolar once again by Elzar, to the very same location where they first met, also known as Mission 9. Okay, let me stop that game speed here. So, you see the similarity of the map design here from Mission 9 towards the end of Mission 9 and here? I am here as you said. What is the matter this time? Worst has yet to come. I don't. I do not follow you, Elza. We we must hurry and find the crystal before it is too late. Crystal. Who's this? Here's correct. The Covenant. It has been some time since we last met Terran Underling. Why are you here? I have summoned him. And I have come with dire regards. After some time, I have to acknowledge that what Vlad and his minions are seeking for, even if I cannot believe so. The crystal? Yes, and it is a crystal that no Terran should know of. What do you mean? Whoever this Vlad is, I doubt he is a Terran as this Dark Templar has suggested. Indeed, and that makes this Vlad character even more dangerous than I originally believed. Then, then what is, what exactly is this crystal? Xenox. Uh, Xenox? It is a crystal we Protoss know that has been forbidden to speak of due to its unimaginable power it brings forth. The Xenox should have been sealed long ago within a secret chamber of an uncharted planet. However, what this covenant warrior told me and the contents of this temple's tomes align with the notion that the Xenox is here somewhere within the stars. Just how dangerous is this crystal that even you are showing a sign of fear? It is uncertain how potent the danger is when that crystal is obtained with malicious intent. I've come here to discuss what we must do in order to deal with this profound situation. Yo, with this ever buffy stats, I'm assuming I'm here to help out with the Protoss matter. Fool! It will not be just Protoss that will be concerned. Every life will be in danger if the crystal is handled in a corrupted way. He speaks the truth. The primary reason I call it here, Kevin Cooper is for you to find out who exactly knows the location of the Xenox crystal. You did mention it back in Janggu that you believe someone in my organization knows of such location. Mission 20? Yes, and that is why I want you to uncover the person who knows such crucial information. I believe that person is either someone who is affiliated with another Protoss tribe, or it may not be a Terran at all. I require you to find that person as discreetly as possible. Once I do find that person, how or where should I contact you? That will not be necessary, Captain Cooper. I shall find my way to you immediately once I have found that person. I will try. 
It will not be easy though. As much as I disregard involving non-protons into this particular predicament, I will truly require your assistance. <laughs> Do not worry about it. Just know that it will take some time for me to find this person you speak of. That shall do. At any rate, my warriors and I will scour this entire solar system to track down this mysterious Vlad and his henchmen. We will meet again, Dark Templar, and tear an underling. Somewhere on a remote planet. It is rare of you to have caught us here. I sense the death of struggle during my slumber. What is the meaning of this? Ah, that is something we could not have predicted. My servant has been slain by an unknown Protoss. Without his master, Strider's Buddha's medicine. Indeed, but you need not worry. We will resume the search as usual. <laughs> and of the human organization. The righteous is sure causing some miscalculations for us, but my pawns are continuously slowing down that organization from reaching the other groups in the sector. Coprulo sector? Who's this? that our goal is to steal the Sinox away from Razak and Winner our servant before they find the Temple of Weave. That is for certain. We still need to dispose of the turret that knows the location of Razak and servant. I'll go away before he does something unpredictable. I'm aware of that. My pawns are also trying to find a turn hiding in the ranks of the righteous. Nasrang, find another Zerg server resisting Kirk's control. We will require some expendable subjects to safeguard our new goal. Our unification was with a lot. If you find any difficulties in persuading the sir, I am willing to lend you some of my side transmitters. Interlude. That will not be necessary. You may come here now. Too spooky here. Report. Well, Master, the Protoss that slain a slew? Killed a Zerwit happens to be from the same tribe that the Righteous performed tests on its people on Bolar a long time ago. AKA Random Mission Project Final. Protoss. Ah, so it is then. I am starting to remember. Elzar and Charles, I believe. We're not sure of the names yet. Do you still want us to divulge their motives, Master? That will not be necessary anymore. You are to continue searching for the Terran that knows the whereabouts of Alcoy's position. Now then, I need to talk to Lairs. Yes, Master! How is that Terran that you brought along? Is it having any regrets? Surprisingly, no. I'm more surprised that due to Puffington's charismatic nature, more of the righteous members are leaving that organization in order to follow him instead. Do you know anything about his history with the Taldarim? He does not like to talk about it, Master. 
However, your presumption of Puffington being the one who knows the location of the crystal is mistaken. Which is why I, wor I worry about that particular turn more every passing day. Do keep in mind that since your group is getting larger and stronger, check every new recruited members. It may be a possibility for that turn to be hiding among us. It will be done, Master. Oh, and try to find out what kind of relation the turn you brought has with the Teldarine. Talk about Major Puffington. With Kevin Cooper returning back to Bolar, where he first met the strange but friendly Protoss Elzar, Cooper decides to help Elzar out regarding the whereabouts of the mysterious Xenox. It is the endless story of a dedicated man serving his organization for the better men of those around him. A story that continues, and that is Kevin Cooper's story. Presented by me or one man production. The reason why I put this cheat is because okay, that's me right there and my email. And then it should end here, but I put staying alive just to show this little thing here. The Xenox Crystal Formation. Which doesn't show unless you put cheat like I did. And basically this was first shown in my random mission project, Protoss 3. And it does make a reoccurring theme. Not me, but it like this the word Xenox like appears several times throughout my random mission project and whatnot, so yeah. So it's just me saying I'm tying in my older projects with my my um with KCS and all that and I'm gonna and I'm gonna try to finish it up with impending doom and then continue on with what's his face? Uh, and continue on with Another campaign that I have in mind for the Zerg side that focuses on Vlad, the mysterious experiment 001, and that Annihilator Defiler thing. So, yeah. And they're, of course, called the Unification, which was, you know, the, this force description was also first shown in Random Mission Protoss, you know, Random Mission Project Zerg Final. So, in case you don't know what the heck I'm talking about, do you check out that playlist, Random Mission Project? It does. That's where I first, you know, created my characters there. And then use some of them. And then as you've seen, like with the Terran units, they're from Balkorn's Bad Times, the Traitors. They make an appearance, like in um, Balkorn's Bad Times 4. And yada, yada, yada. And yeah, that's basically it. So, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. My voice acting, uh, I don't know, I try to make my make each of my character, you know, each of them like sound unique, but it's hard to voice several characters, you know, when you're the only person trying to voice act, so. But anyway, next, now that I concluded KCS, I think I might start off with the RPG that I have in mind, and... Maybe, you know, try to upload Impending Doom. And hopefully I'll finish L uh, LSR 3 for Impending Doom. Because I haven't touched that in a while. I really should, because I'm forgetting what the the story <laughs> that I'm trying to represent for that campaign. But we'll see how it goes with that. And yeah, of course, other custom campaigns, I have to look for that too for my, my YouTube content. Too. But anyway, thanks for watching. And sticking by and I'll see you guys see you folks next time bye now